<laughs> my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh there we go! Oh my god, he missed it! Oh no, he did. Come on, buddy, that's the biggest one of the day, I think. This is nuts. What is up, folks? Welcome back to another video. I am standing in front of a brand new lake. One might call this a hidden lake because as you can see, let me just do a quick like kind of pan around. Like there's there's really nothing out here. I mean, this isn't like a residential lake. This isn't like a, you know, a, a public lake that everybody goes to. This is, this is pretty like off the beaten path here. Big shout out to one of my subscribers. I cannot remember your name, brother, but you sent me an email and you told me about where this lake was. It is a public lake, but not a lot of people know about it apparently. So this is pretty legit right here. Now, right off the bat, I'm noticing a couple things. I mean, first of all, you got your little sign right here, which, you know, obviously this is, this is kind of pretty standard when you come to a lake, but this right here, wha-bam, now we're talking. That probably gives it away where I am. <laughs> but yeah, there apparently are alligators out here too. So that's good to know. Luckily, I'm a Florida boy. So the fact that there's alligators in the water really don't bother me. Um, typically with alligators, if you stay away from them, they're just, they're just not gonna mess with you. That's just kind of how it goes. Also got the SS Mendo Johnson back in the mix. As you guys know, we have fixed it and we have been out on it a couple times. So it's still working. The issue was the steering and the steering cable and the steering mechanism had come loose and I wasn't able to control the rudder, which can't control the direction of the boat. That's kind of a big problem, but we've got it kind of fixed. It's been working okay. It's a little rough, the operation of it, but it's getting us out on the water and that's all that matters right now. So I'm not really sure what the plan's gonna be today. Uh, the person that told me about this lake really didn't give me any info on like what the, what the fish would eat but he said there were some nice bass out here. So I've got kind of a multitude of rods, a multitude of random stuff rigged up. You guys know how it is. When you go to a new lake, you just kind of, just grab some, some confidence baits, you know? Let's see what we got down here. Kind of forgot, I rigged this stuff up last night. I kind of forgot what I have. So a little weightless lunker log set, that's always gonna be, you know, a factor. Got a little topwater frog. I'm not really seeing any frog territory out here, like any lily pads or scum or anything, but it's possible. Got a little square bill right here, looks pretty good. Got a little jiggy jig, a little crack and crawl trailer. And then we finally have a little rattle and Ned, Ned rig set up, you know, just in case things get really tough. So the goal is simple, folks. Let's try to catch us a nice little five fish limit. You know, whatever that may be, I'm gonna weigh any fish that that's, should be weighed, you know. If it's anything less than a pound, I'm just gonna call that a pounder. But yeah, let's try to get us a nice little five fish limit. New lake, throw in some lures that I have confidence in. Have no idea this is gonna pan out at all, but if you guys end up enjoying this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe, join the Lojo Outdoor fam, the best subscribers on YouTube, and one of the fastest growing outdoor channels out there, thanks to you guys that are just awesome. I'm pretty sure I already see the alligator, so we should probably go ahead and launch the boat and go talk to him really quick. check out this water clarity it's kind of somewhere between like greenish murky but still like not quite like traditional dirty if that makes any sense well until I know what's going on we might as well start with some moving baits I probably shouldn't start with the frog but I don't know it's kind of late in the morning but there's some like grass over here and some cover in the water a little bit of slime over here too might as well just throw it around for a minute. Oh my god! Dang it! We're right on the other side of that little brush pile. I know you guys saw that. Oh boy. He's still there. Guarantee it. Whoa! What is going on? You guys see how ferocious that hit was? He just missed it. Dang it. And then we got freaking more chasing stuff over here. It like, I think it like scared him. I brought it on, on like I brought it over that little grass pile right there. Got back here in this scum, this little scum uh, on the water. It looks like there are, are fish here. Just like you would, you would have to assume that there were. Let's cast over here at that monster that was chasing stuff a minute ago. Sure I'm glad I brought the frog. Wasn't really sure that I'd use it. Ooh. 
Something just swirled at him. Missed the frog though. Something like came up and then like bailed on it at the last second. It's like so calm back here. You guys know, I talk about it all the time. I'm not a big topwater guy when it's just dead calm. But in this situation, it seems like it's a really good option. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Come on. God, I got my freaking, my reel got stuck in my hand. Okay. Ooh, I'm trying to stay quiet because you know this is not the only fish back here. Oh, he's peeing all over me. Whew, choked the frog. Filthy frog, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to be, trying to stay calm here. And I knew he wasn't big. Let's get a quick weight on him real quick. Just so we have some type of a, a reference here. Zero it out. All right, two pounds. I like it. Thank you, buddy. In you go, back into the slime. You know, he didn't look like a two pounder, but I mean, we, we're gonna go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna argue with the scale. He slurped that frog. No blow up at all. I just sucked it under. I can tell you one thing. This lake is not really big. So regardless of our, the success that we have in this little scummy area, we'll definitely be coming back. Maybe let it rest for like an hour or so and come back here in like an hour or two. It might be reloaded back up in here. Oh my gosh. Either a turtle or a snake was just swimming up to it. Oh, okay, that was a turtle. I was about to say, uh-uh, no snakes. Mm-mm. I don't mess with you. I'm just like hearing bass explode on bait. Like looking around, I'll see bait bubbling. And there'll be a bass just attacking them. Ooh. Does he have it? No, he doesn't have it. Pulled it under. Didn't have it though. I keep getting these like subtle bites on it, but they're not getting it. That was another good little bite. Filled it with water though. There we go, we're right back in there. Ooh, come on, ah, he's small. Dang it, and my line's wrapped around my pole. We'll give him a pound, we're not gonna weigh him. Dang it. Okay, well there's fish here. That's. Always what you want to see. Of course, there had to be a fish here. He's not even a pound, but we'll just say a pound to be nice. Well, if there's small fish in the scum, there's going to be big fish too. It's just a matter of getting them to come out and play. It's not always easy. I have picked this area apart very methodically, and we've been getting bites. So it's been, it was a good decision. Like I said, I really think we're just going to have to leave it alone for a while and then come back. With either a frog or even that weightless lunker log might be good too because it's so calm. Oh, oh, ah. another hit over here. But I was in a terrible position with my boat and couldn't set the hook. Awesome. God, they are back here. This is crazy. Dang it. Oh boy, I'm right there. I came off the tree, I'm in the same spot. They're all over, all over the, every edge of this grass with the scum, there's a fish there. That's what it seems like anyways. Once again, it didn't seem like a big fish just by the blow up, but you just never know. I've seen plenty of big ones just slurp and not blow up. Ooh, he missed it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Guys, oh my goodness. What, man, what, what can you do? What can you do when they're hitting it? So you know, you feel like you're throwing the right lure, but they're just not consuming it really well. I mean, the ones that I've caught were consuming it pretty well. They both choked it, but we've had just as many, if not more, just completely miss the frog. And this is about as slow as I can work the thing. Oh, it just got hit again and missed. Are you kidding me? I wonder if these are like gar or something. You know, gar can kind of come up sometimes and just like kind of, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen gar? out in the wild they'll hit a topwater lure but they don't hit it very well because they got that long snout with teeth in it so they can't eat the frog <sighs> oh my god he missed it oh no he did come on buddy that's the biggest one of the day i think i thought he missed it though no he's about the size of the first one look at how they're choking this frog Look at how they're eating this frog. Oh, he's got, he's blinding one eye too. Nice. It's 
It's about the size of the first one. We'll put the scale on them again. I don't know about the scale though. I did not think that first one was a two pounder. I'm gonna show you guys though. All right, zeroed out officially. Oh, maybe these fish are just a little hardier than I think. That's a 110. So let's just say, got what, two, one, about four pounds and four bass. Not terrible. Or is it three bass? Have I caught three or four? I don't even know where I am right now. Is that my third bass? Yeah, 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 that's my third bass. Four pounds, three bass. That was a crazy bite because I actually saw him like wake from the corner over there to it to get it. And that was nasty. Just like that flip was nasty. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting and amazing and awesome to be on a new lake in a fixed micro boat. Everything about this is just amazing. And catching them on top water of all things, which is just the best, the bee's knees. I really don't want to leave, I can tell you that. That was kind of my original plan a few minutes ago was I was going to leave and then let this place rest and come back. But good Lord, they're still here and they're still eating. We might get our limit like right here, our first limit. You know, one thing I do want to bring up really quickly, this is just kind of, and once again, I don't like giving tips. You guys know that. But there's a lot of young anglers that watch this channel and they may not, oh, oh, he just got hit. I don't think that was a bass. I think that was something else. But there's a lot of young anglers that watch this channel and they're always asking me for tips and stuff. So I like to give some minor tips every now and again, just to try to help some people out. But on that last fish catch, hold on, let me, let's wait for this freaking attack helicopter to go by so you guys can hear what I'm saying. So with the topwater frog, a lot of the time, people's natural reaction, when the blow up happens, just instinctively, they set the hook, right? They just, they go to, to pile drive that fish. I normally don't like to do that, okay? And like that last bass I just caught proved, even if you don't set the hook right away, if he's eating it, he's eating it. Like it's in his mouth, it's in his freaking throat. You know, so you don't have to worry about that. And I've seen pros, there's a couple pros out there that they'll let the bass, they'll make sure the bass has it before they set the hook. And the reason why I like to do that is because sometimes the bass will miss the frog, like you guys have seen, or they'll pull it under by the back half of it, but they won't have the hooks in their mouth. So if you set the hook prematurely, you're just gonna yank it out of their mouth. Conversely, if you don't set the hook, if you wait, a lot of times your frog will float back up because he missed it, and that gives you an opportunity to twitch it another time or two, and maybe he'll come back for it. So that's kinda, it's really hard to do. I'll be, I'll be honest, it's really hard to not set the hook right away when you get that bite. But for me, the more patient I can be with that, it's always worked out better for me. And then really quickly, the setup that I use with frog, and a lot of you guys always ask this, seven foot three to seven foot six, heavy power rod, that's key, because you're having to yoink these fish out of heavy cover like this. And that goes right along with your, your braided line. I would highly recommend braided line, 30 pound, 40 pound, 50 pound. I think this is 50, but get away with 30 or 40. And then, you know, a high gear ratio reel, something that's got some some good drag where you can really just yank those fish out of these hairy situations. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he's not big. It's okay, it's fish number four though. About the same size. All these fish have been about the same size. Oh, that was a heck of a bite right there, wasn't it? Oh my gosh there. Yo, he's so mean. It's probably a little bit smaller. That's probably closer to like an actual one pound bass. Oh my gosh, these bites are just ridiculous. Even the small fish are hitting like, I mean, just hitting like crazy. Zero it out. Probably a one pounder on the dot. Yep, one pound, three ounces. I'm not gonna keep track of ounces. I'm just gonna say a pound. That way it's all kind of evens out. That's five pounds on four fish. I know these aren't like great tournament numbers, guys. I'm just saying. It's just kind of fun sometimes to keep track of the bag that you're working on, you know? Even if you, you're not expecting to catch like a 25-pound a bag, which I'd love to catch, but I don't know if that's going to be the juice or not. I am going to take this opportunity, though. That's fish number four. I, I could keep fishing with the frog, and we will keep fishing with the frog. This is not the end of the frog, but I think we're going to explore the lake some more because I think this, this spot right here, I feel like this spot's gonna be good. You know what I mean? Like we, we can come back here with the frog. We can get some more bites or, or some, some other presentation. But there's a lot of wind on the rest of the lake this way. So I really wanna explore this way and cover some water, maybe with the, the square bill or something like that. Plus we haven't got to see our local alligator yet. We really need to see him. That way we can be like, hey buddy, let's throw the old square bill around. Maybe some trees, maybe some like slightly deeper water than where we just were. 
I'm gonna work my way back to this little dam area right here where the drainage is. That's always been uh, an area in small lakes like this where you feel pretty confident that the fish are there. Now whether you can catch them or not, that's I mean that's always the that's always the question. Well, I think it's just too calm for this square barrel right now. Maybe the wind will pick up a little bit. One thing I have been doing lately to been to be catching a lot of fish is going kind of deep and slowing it down with like a jig. So let's, let's hit him with a little jig. I'm presuming this is some pretty deep water right here because there's a drainage pipe right there and a dam to our right. So this is probably the deepest water that this lake has to offer. The problem is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like switch from the fast paced frog topwater bite that I was on to this slow dragging of a jig. This is going to be, unless it just starts paying off with bites, this is going to be hard to do without just running back to the other side, throwing the frog some more. I think the time has come boys <laughs> to throw the weightless lunker log because it is just so dang calm. And I know, I know I was getting bites on the topwater and the frog, but it's just so calm on the rest of the lake. There's just a moving bait bite. I just don't think it's here, at least not right now. The wind just decides to pick up and that could change everything, but we'll throw a little black and blue five inch lunker log. The water's kind of stained because it rained a ton yesterday. Plus it gives us a little color continuity because the, the frog was black, so I don't really think that matters, but you know, give us a little continuity. Never hurt anybody. Well, I've just, I'm just hearing way too many blow ups. I need to have the frog in my hand clearly. Ever since I've been back on this side of the lake, like every five seconds I'm hearing like a top water blow up and I'm seeing some of them right on the edge of the grass. Oh my God, holy shnikes. There's fish number five. And he's the same size, wouldn't you know it? Oh, yes. <laughs> but he freaking destroyed my frog. We haven't even gotten back to the to Money Cove yet. That's just how into frogs these guys are today. Let's get a quick wait so we can round out our uh, five fish limit. He looks to be about the same. I mean, he's like a pound and a half, maybe. Zeroed out. Yeah, a pound. Right about a pound and a half, so... One seven. God, these jokers remain. Get out of here, dude. Okay, so we got about a six and a half pound limit. Five fish. Definitely not going to win us any tournaments anytime soon. Could win us some small, some small fish tournaments. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. This topwater bite has just been epic today. You guys are seeing it. I mean, it's like I was almost even trying to force other lures on these bass. You know, try to force them to eat something else. And they're just like, no, we don't want that, bro. Nope, we don't want that. Nope, we don't want that. Throw a frog. It's like my second cast since switching back to the frog and just annihilated. Oh, my God. I just heard a monster blow up. And I'm seeing, like, stuff hitting bait out here, too. Oh, yeah, I got it out there. I've got him right there. Let's go, baby. Come on, an open water frog bite, come on. Seen two or three hits out there in the middle. I just heard a freaking like the deepest blow up and splash I've heard today. But it was like way back in here on this tree. I don't even know if I could get a bait in there. Ooh, oh my gosh. Shut that one right there. But he just barely grabbed the frog, he didn't get hooked. Come on, buddy. Eat him again. Eat him again. The frog is just getting destroyed. Oh, I see the bass right there. I see him. He's like swimming around the base of this tree. Ah, he saw me cast. He just swam off. That was a decent one. Like a two or three pounder. Yeah, he was just hanging out the base of that tree. And we got freaking fish hitting stuff right here. This is nuts. Some of the most fun I've had in a long time today.
Are you kidding me? Did you guys hear that? But see, these big ones that I'm hearing, they're like way deep in that grass where I can't even get to. The fish are stacked up back here in this cove. They're nowhere else in the lake. <laughs> and the best part is they're just annihilating things on top water. But hey, we have a good little limit. You know, we have a limit. So at least we didn't get completely destroyed by this new lake. Oh my God, does he have it? Oh, he didn't have it. He had the legs, but did you guys see how I waited? Like you gotta wait sometimes because he didn't have it. I didn't think he did. I mean, he had the body of the frog, but he didn't have it didn't have the hooks in his mouth Shh. there's just nothing you can do about that I mean my, my line was going I mean he had it looked like a, a, more, a better one too not huge but looked like a better fish oh my god are you freaking kidding me there was a fish just sitting there in an inch of water under some dang crap and he hit that frog as soon as it hit the water and missed it what what this is freaking crazy oh my god they're destroying my frog too i think i've only got one frog with me it's good when the frog is getting destroyed that means you're having having yourself a nice little top water day getting opportunities guys we're just uh not taking advantage of them and i mean it's not necessarily my fault but you only get so many chances in one day we gotta start taking advantage of them Come on, oh, he's tiny. Dang it, and my line's wrapped around. How do I still have him hooked? Oh, he's not tiny. Oh, no. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to yoink you like that. All right, well, he's not gonna beat a pound and a half. <laughs> These tiny fish are hitting this frog with authority. Authority, like, hey, Mr. Frog, um, this is not your territory, okay? This is my bush, and you can't be in here. <laughs> it's crazy. The way that bass hit it and ran, I would have thought that it was a much bigger fish. I'm beginning to think that's just kind of the average fish out here, you know, as a one, one to two pounder, which I mean, hey, that's it's fine. We're catching them, getting some nice top water action. But there's gotta be that one random four or five pounder, you know, that's just kind of hanging out finally spotted mr alligator over there right there and he is big oh my gosh let's see if i can pull out my phone and like zoom in on so you guys can see how big he is i see that right there that would be a big old alligator oh he just went down bummer come on dude i was just trying to give you some love on youtube that's all I believe he looked over here and saw me and was like, oh no, not today, human. You're not putting me on YouTube. That was a big alligator. Holy smack. Holy shit. Well, folks, I guess we're going to wrap it right about there. I mean, geez, we couldn't have asked for really a better day as far as bites and just being able to explore a new place like this. Just really awesome. Beautiful scenery, beautiful lake. I have not seen another human being out here been out here for about three or four hours so i don't know if that's just because it's a work day maybe a lot of people are at work and i'm i'm working but you know i'm just fishing i could definitely see though some potential in this place for the future so we will certainly come back here if you guys want to see that but you guys saw what happened today i mean it was a frog bite an epic topwater bite and i would have actually put on some different topwater lures but i looked at my box and I, don't, I didn't have anything except for a frog i think i had a buzz bait too but that really wasn't appropriate for this kind of water i didn't think now it could have worked but it seemed like that slower um pre presentation getting it right up against the grass fish were just like aggressively attacking it and that kind of just seemed like the way to go so you know didn't make any adjustments but i really didn't think i needed to as far as other baits they literally would not touch anything uh they i don't think i got a bite on anything else did i jig ned rig weightless lunker log no bites on anything except for the top water frog that's just crazy. So that just tells you it's getting to be summertime. Real close to being full-fledged summer frogging time because when they get like this, and it's just so much fun too, as you guys saw, but you're gonna miss a lot of fish. That's kind of the kind of the deal. You're gonna miss some fish, you gotta get over it. One more big shout out to my subscriber. I'm gonna put your name right on the screen right now, man, because I cannot remember your name, and I'm sorry. But uh, he was nice enough to send me an email. He told me about this lake and another lake 
on this military installation that I'm actually gonna go and try one day real soon. So you guys will be seeing another video from me exploring some new lakes real soon. Hopefully that lake is just as productive, if not more productive than this lake. We caught, what, six fish, so we caught a limit. We weren't able to cull anything. Had, what, six pounds, six and a half pounds, something like that, you know? Not gonna win a tournament, for, but for your boy Lojo, who's just a regular guy with a micro boat, I would take a small limit any day of the week, especially on a new lake. It makes me feel really good. Anyways, folks, I am getting out of here. If you liked the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new, subscribe. Join the Lojo Outdoor fam, the best subscribers on YouTube. And hey, I'll just sign out with my little adventure hat right there. Fist bump, I'm out of here.